for complicated geometries so ansys software is not feasible so that complicated geometry should be imported in ansys software so here is one example pinion blank which is drawn in katia software we are going to import this pinion blank in ansys software so in file menu import option is there katia v5 so from here model is browsed it is at desktop select pinion blank open okay now it will take some time for importing so whenever the model is import imported there may be loss of some features surface may be deleted or line may be deleted so it was happening in ansys 12 software ansys 11 version now in ansys 14 version so as it is model is imported without any property losses now you can see here helical gear will be imported as it is in wire frame structure now this is helical gear is imported but in wire frame structure now how to convert this to solid structure so in plot controls there is option style solid model facets and you select here normal faceting okay right click replot now in this way you are observing helical gear now the same process i am going to apply as that of previous problem i want to rotate this helical gear along z axis with 500 rpm 500 rpm means 52 radian per second so select preferences structural ls dynamics visit okay in element type add edit delete add select cell element thin cell 163 okay in option select sr co rotation means nodes are rotating along the axis clothes in real constant we have to add thickness of shell element so total four nodes are there in shell element and shell element is always having thickness so here i will take 1 mm thickness approximately clothes now in material property enter density 7800 e minus 9 200 e3 and 0.3 all units are in mm okay clothes now meshing modeling is not necessary already model is imported so mesh tool so here we have to select areas here we have to select areas pick all so i will set size of the area that is say 2 by 2 mm size of shell element is 2 by 2 by 2 okay Residence. Select here areas, mesh, and pick all. Now this helical gear will be meshed. Now you are observing each tooth is getting meshed, and the shape is also remaining same after meshing. So in order to get proper mesh, so element size should be as less as possible. now here you are observing size of the element also shape is all remained same now it is meshed helical gear is properly meshed so if you observe its front view it looks as a spur gear and if you observe its isometric view it is really helical gear okay. now next thing we have to define this helical gear as a component then and then only we can apply rpm so this is a example of dynamic analysis under dynamic analysis transient analysis we getting this after we have started in lecture select entities nodes by number pick on okay 
सिलेक्ट ऑल नोड सो क्लिक ऑन पिक ऑल क्रिएट कॉम्पोनंट एंड इट्स अ नेम आई विल गिव हेलिकल घेयर कॉम्पोनंट इज मेड अप ऑफ नोड्स ओके और नेक्स्ट इन सोल्यूशन वी हैव टू अप्लाय आर पी एम सो इनिशियल विलॉसिटी ऑन नोड्स नोडल रोटेट सो ऑल इन झेड एक्सिस आई विल अप्लाय इट्स एंगुलर विलॉसिटी इन रेडियन पर सेकंड दैट इज फिफ्टी टू रेडियन पर सेकंड इनडायरेक्टली इट इज फाइव हंड्रेड आर पी एम सो हियर कॉम्पोनंट इज सिलेक्टेड हेलिकल गियर आर यू गेटिंग एंड पॉजिटिव इंडिकेट्स हेलिकल गियर इज रोटेटिंग इन क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन हियर यू कैन राइट माइनस फिफ्टी टू ऑल्सो हेलिकल गियर विल रोटेट इन एंटी क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन ओके नाउ इन रिजिट सॉरी इन एनालिस ऑप्शन यू हैव टू क्रिएट एनर्जी ऑप्शन ओके इन टाइम कंट्रोल्स यू हैव टू डिफाइन टाइम ऑफ रिस्पॉन्स जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन सेकेंड इज द टाइम ऑफ रिस्पॉन्स इट मीन्स दैट विद इन वन इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस थ्री सेकंड वॉट इज द बिहेवियर ऑफ फिजिकल गियर विद इन वन इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस सेकंड टेन डेज टू माइनस थ्री सेकंड वॉट इज बिहेवियर ऑफ हेलिकल गियर सो दिस इज वॉट टाइम ऑफ रिस्पॉन्स और टाइम एट विच सोल्यूशन विल स्टॉप ओके आउटपुट कंट्रोल्स फाइल आउटपुट नाउ हियर वी कैन गेट द रिजल्ट इन डिफरेंट स्टेप्स सो हियर आई विल टेक हंड्रेड हंड्रेड इट विल टेक लेस टाइम फॉर सॉल्विंग इफ यू इंक्रीज हियर मोर नंबर ऑफ स्टेप्स इट विल टेक मोर टाइम फॉर सोल्यूशन ओके सॉल्व ओके इट विल टेक सम फॉर सम टाइम फॉर सॉल्विंग नाउ हियर यू कैन ऑब्जर्व आउटपुट विंडो टाइम बींग आई विल पॉज दिस विडियो हियर यू कैन सी विंडो इज जनरेटेड सो इट शोज द कैलक्युलेशन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम At time range is zero to zero point zero zero one second. The total steps are hundred. Now, in some cases, you may not observe the window. Solution is done. In some cases. you may not observe the window solution is done because we have given the command to terminate the solution terminate solution at 0.001 second are you getting so here you may not observe the message are you getting as number of nodes are more therefore software is taking more time for solution now this is not analysis of 1 minute or 2 minutes it may take more than 10 minutes so as this ls dyna window is closed and message is appeared here so sometime message may not be appear so close this close now we will observe the response of this helical gear general post processing read result last set so there are number of sets generated so you can see list of sets you can see at this time 9.9 into 10 raised to minus 6 at this time second 9.9 into 10 raised to minus 6 second you can observe the response of helical gear so these are the different timings where you can observe the response of helical gear so here i am selecting last set that is 0.001 second now i will directly go for animation animate over time now here you have to give range 0 to 0.001 second and you want to observe rotation or you can observe linear movement also so here i am observing rotation you can observe anything okay directly 
we are going to observe animation how helical gear is rotating now it will take time for animation because this is a dynamic analysis for animation also it may take take time because number of nodes are increased elements are increased finally stiffness mat matrices are increased and global stiffness matrix size will be more for just 1 minute we will observe animation how helical gear is rotating so for dynamic analysis we require a machine with good configurations now you can see the helical gear is rotating so you can observe helical gear is rotating here so here mn mx indicates movements so helical gear is rotating in this direction now i will stop this video